and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So we're back with My Crypto Heroes. It's a game that I've had a few uh, goes at before, um, but I've never really got to grips with. Partly that's because I have never spent any money uh, on the game, uh, and partly that's because I don't understand it. <laughs> um, and um, But now it's time, I think. Now it's time. So My Crypto Heroes, um, very Japanese, is a Japanese developer, um, very popular mainly in Japan, so it has a very Japanese aspect to it and some of the kind of English translation is um, not as straightforward as it could be. Equally, some of the game systems are fairly uh, complex, fairly, uh, ba you know, highly based around the Japanese um, kind of grindy mechanics. Um, and combining that with blockchain uh, just makes a very complicated uh, metagame system. Anyway, it is what it is. I don't fully understand it, but um, <clears throat> I feel the only way I'm going to ever understand it a bit more is to, is to, is to drop some cash. So, um, in order to drop cash, what do we go and do? Well, in most blockchain games, what you would do is you go off and you'd buy a high-value NFT character. Um, or maybe some gear. <clears throat> um, not in this game. Um, so, we're going to go here to the market. Um, and uh, we can see here, so they do have a currency, you have gum. <clears throat> so gum is their um, in-game currency. It's not a cryptocurrency. It's just their in-game in central currency, uh, which you can, um, which you buy actually with with, with crypto. Um, and that works in different ways. I'm not going to go into all the detail. Um, but the the most obvious thing that happens is if you're really kind of uh, interested in playing My Crypto Heroes, you go to this one here, which is called My Crypto Heroes Prime. So what's My Crypto Heroes Prime? Um, well, clearly, as we kind of, I guess, understand from things like Amazon, Prime is a you're paying for better service. So let's not spend too much time, but we see here, um, what is My Crypto Heroes Prime? You will re receive the following benefits for 30 days. So effectively, you're paying um, for a monthly subscription package. So you'll get a limited uh, time special offer, um, Novice Hero Sung Shang Yi, whatever that person is, I have no idea. Um, you get double the XP CE from quest mode. So when you do the quest mode, you get double XP from that. Daily bonus, resets every 24 hours. You get 25 gum. So this is in-game currency. Um, 300, I don't know what it is, 300 gum for the one over 100. Don't know what that means. Um, small amount of ETH is required as a gas fee. I assume that's to gain this 25 gum. <coughs> um, you expand the number of teams you can have from three to six. Now, um, you get three teams to begin with. Um, you have six, I suppose, if you're a super high-powered player. <laughs> that would be quite useful. Um, the, basically, there's an energy system in the game, so um, you're kind of locked by how much you can do by running out of energy. So the more teams you have, the basically you can do double. So we can see here, we're getting double XP for quest mode, and we're getting double the amount of teams we can use. Um, so it's kind of powerful. Limited nodes, which only prime users can use. Um, Continuous availability on node failure. Um, not quite sure what that means. Um, available up five times for 24 hours. Um, I have absolutely no idea what that means. Early access to hosted features for the public arena. I've never been able to play the arena because you have to have super high power powered characters to do that. The, uh, the arena is effectively, as far as I understand it, the P PvP part of it. You have one replica hero, A more, is granted for every prime update. Enrollment after withdrawal is not ineligible. So I guess, I think this is saying if you have prime your first prime and then you roll it over for the second month um so you get a replica hero a grade or more for every time you update so the first time you don't get it and the second time you do additional bonuses for toku treasure no idea what that means okay <clears throat> so a whole bunch of stuff some of it i understand some of it i don't we're going to find out um so here we go one eth um so um if you buy with ETH, your status is reflected in five ten minutes after the transit transaction well that's obviously that's gonna <coughs> has to um go through the ethereum blockchain so one eth at the moment i mean ETH is fairly fairly static at about 200 dollars 230 dollars i think at the moment so effectively 20 dollars a month 23 dollars um probably at the moment so let's see if this goes through so uh, i'm using the dapper uh wallet so the wallet from dapper labs people who do crypto kitties so we can see here it's gonna, yeah, gonna take me uh, <coughs> 20 23 Twenty-three dollars twenty-seven cents. Um, I'm not being charged gas because um, Dapper Labs at the moment is doing this kind of beta thing where certain DApps 
that um, they support um, they they eating the gas fee. So you're not getting any gas fee on this one. I hope. Um, let's see if it, <laughs> see if it goes through. Okay, so there we go. Um, so we're gonna have to wait um, on that one to see if it goes through. So um, we'll just come back when that is done. Okay, so wait a few minutes, uh, see what's going on. Something appears to have gone on here. Um, we can actually have a look in the Dapper wallet and see. Um, there we go. Um, looks like I sent one ETH. Yeah, yeah, that's gone through. And now we can uh, have a look here and there we go. I received the uh, Prime Benefit Sun Xiaoying. Um, no idea really what that is. Uh, <laughs> let's see if we can work it out. Okay, so here's my team. Now, I wonder if I can do something with that. Um, let's have a look. Um, now, where's my warrior? Okay, so, oh, so there she is. Okay, so um, problem is she is not very powerful compared to the other ones, is she? Um, so maybe we could just uh, actually do this and start to try and get a bit clever on the extra teams. So that's a team I've always been using. Um, now let's um, let's swap her in, shall we? Um, okay, there we go. So I swapped her in um, and we can give her some, oh, what's that there then? Did I get this last time? Um, we can give her some weapons. No, these are not very high powered, uh, but I don't think it really matters. So um, we give her some bow guns. Um, you notice this thing here saying you probably got to see six days until until broken. So so quite recently they've added this feature in where where um, low level weapons break, <laughs> which I think is a little bit harsh. Um, but there we go. Uh, so that they, they've added her to my team, and um, so. I wonder if I can. Uh, what weapons? Sorry, there seem to be some new weapons added in here. Oh no, they've gone again. Let me go quick. Okay, so there we go. So I have my um, my first advantage that I have my new character. Um, and I should have actually more teams, don't you? Yeah, so I've got six teams now, you can see here. So that's my main team. That's the one I've just had. Um, obviously, one of the weird things about the game is when you set them up, when you set up, they just all the teams all have these generic characters. So it's, 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 you know, <laughs> seems a bit weird why you've got all these teams um, all the same, but it's, it's this energy system. Um, so, um, and I guess now I can go and um, go and into the special quest. Here we go. So this is a this one here. We can see here is a prime quest. So only people with the prime can go and do this. Um, so I could go and so we can see this is level 20, it's going to use up 20 energy. Um, obviously the higher the levels are, the higher your characters need to be. Um, so um, why doesn't it want to let me go on that one? Uh, that's interesting, maybe they're not high powered enough. Oh maybe it has to be, no, ah maybe it has to just be her. Why has she got a yellow, why has she got green? Oh well, that's annoying. So there we go. I've got the prime thing, and, and it has it's added more complication to me. Um, it's not accepting any of these, but it likes the fact that she has got that that green. Uh, so I wonder. Anything I can think to do is I don't know if it will let me. If I go to this team, I don't know if I can get rid of these. I can't change it. Uh, no. Hey ho. Um, well, there we go. Um, Yeah, I have to wait and see what happens with this. I'm gonna to have to experiment a bit more. Um, I guess the other interesting thing is it says here, yeah. So, so when I you lose my subscription, I wonder I'm gonna lose these other teams. So if I have eight other characters in there, um, I wonder if I lose. I probably can't lose them there. I wouldn't lose them away. Anyway, okay. So, so much still to learn um, from the My Crypto Heroes, even as a prime um, candidate. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. So I'll usually get some gum tomorrow, I suppose. And this is what this other one is, this Toker Treasure. Yeah, I don't know what that one is. Um. Yeah, okay, so there we go. Um, yeah, I, I, I've fallen a bit further into the rabbit hole of my Crypto Heroes um, by spending $23. Um, and not still quite knowing what I'm doing with it. There we go. Um, we'll do some more videos. I'll play it some more. And if I find out any more, I'll come back and let you know. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video. So this is a uh, blockchain gaming world um, where we try and make sense of blockchain games. It's pretty difficult. These games are quite complex and the blockchain stuff is generally quite complex as well. So it um, doesn't always make for the easiest um, experience. Anyway, maybe you think it's much easier than that. Let me know in the, in the comments box. You can let me know what I'm doing wrong. That'd be helpful. Um, but um, thanks for watching the video. Um, if you're interested in blockchain games, uh, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, it'd be great to have you along for the ride. Um, but thanks for watching this one and hope to see you again soon.